Hey, it's Chuck Fishman, your music tech expert. And as you know, I like to dig into what's going on in the world of music streaming. And one of the things that I recently noticed, and a lot of people noticed, is that Spotify got rid of uh, the appears on section, at least on the mobile device. What is the appears on section? That's where an artist like remix appearances, or if they're a featured artist like a vocalist on another person's track, um, that is now gone on the mobile app. Um, on the desktop app, you can still find the appears on section, but it's changed. It's no longer chronological in terms of like a artist catalog. So I like this tweet that says, I think Spotify changed the algorithm for appears on section because the Hannah, Man, Hannah Montana movie appears before the cats uh, on Taylor uh, Swift's discography now. So, you know, like it really just screws up how an artist's catalog appears on the desktop. And this relates to a larger series I've been writing about. It's called Don't Split the Streams. I'm looking at independent musicians and where they should focus their time and efforts on streaming. And I always say Spotify because Spotify allows both fans and the artists themselves to see the stream counts. And that's extremely powerful data. But what's happening now with these changes to the appears on section and how it's organized, it really hurts artists. So you're looking at FSQ. Uh, FSQ is my group. We have two albums and three singles and EPs. But we have 18 appearances where we're the remix artists or we're collaborating with another artist. Those are now gone from the mobile app, okay? And so you can see them still on the desktop app on the FSQ profile, and I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. Okay, so you're looking at FSQ's appearance on the Spotify desktop app but the problem now is uh, once we go down scroll down here we'll scroll down to the peers on section so we've got our two albums here and our three singles and eps you can see those but a majority of our work is remix work for other artists and okay artist playlists we, we make those ourselves so here's our appears on section so we have 18 appearances but they're no longer chronologically organized so there's no way to make sense of our catalog in terms of like a linear year by year 2020 2018 2017 in fact you have to scroll all the way down to find our 2020 work uh, where we're doing remixes for other artists here we're doing a remix for Lonely Sea of Soul Clap, and you had to scroll all the way down to the bottom of our appears on tab on the desktop Spotify app. So it's not really beneficial to artists. Now let's look at another artist, um, Yam Hu. He is a prolific, oh, by the way, I wanted to mention this one. Um, so now you're looking at the Spotify artists backstage, what we see. Here is our FSQ catalog, and it's arranged uh, by year, 2020, 2019, 2018. So it's weird to me that on the back end of Spotify for Artists, I can see my catalog chronologically, but fans cannot either, okay? So that's just kind of crappy. I hope they bring back chronological appears on tab on both mobile and the desktop app. Okay, now Yamhu, I was talking about Yamhu. Yamhu's an incredible producer. Uh, he's got one album, 15 singles and EPs, which you can see in the mobile app but they've gotten rid of the appears on tab and you will not believe Yamhu has 126 appearances. So there would be a huge appears on tab for him on the mobile. It's not there anymore. So they've just basically wiped out an entire catalog on mobile. And if you scroll all the way down here past his uh, 15 singles and EPs, you see he's got 126 appearances where he's remixing or he's collaborating with other artists. This has now gone from his mobile profile. It's still there on the desktop, but the issue is now it's not chronological. So I don't know how to find his releases by year, which is just like, it's it's dumbfounding. Um, but look, Apple Music and Amazon Music do not have an appears on uh, feature. So all of us artists um, who have a lot of appearances like this don't benefit from those services. So that's why I'm always pushing people to Spotify. Look, hey, Spotify considers your entire catalog. Here's another artist, Amy Douglas, talented vocalist. She's got one album, six singles and EPs, but she's got 44 appearances. They're now missing from her mobile um, artist profile on the Spotify mobile app. Here is Amy Douglas's desktop appearance uh, for her artist profile on Spotify. You see her six singles and EPs in her one album and then her artist playlist. And then 
all of these appears on. She's got a great number of appearances. She's got 44 appearances mainly. She's a vocalist singing on other people's tracks. These have now been um, totally disorganized. They're no longer chronological. Um, they're by kind of by popularity, which I guess could work if you're looking by popularity, but it'd be really great to see the artist discography. Again, here's the data, right? FSQ, we have two albums, three singles, and 18 appearances. Uh, Yam, who has got even more, has got one album, 15 singles and EPs, and 126 appearances. Now you see, once you take that out, and Amy Douglas had eight, uh, 44 appearances, it's gone. A half of our catalog's missing when you don't list those on the mobile app. You just have removed a whole bunch of our catalog. And I think that this is happening. My guess is that uh, there was this article about how aspiring streaming stars are uploading their songs through distributors and they're featuring bigger artists like, you know, maybe Taylor Swift or uh, another artist, another rapper, you know, maybe they're featuring 2 chains. And what they're trying to do is get onto that, um, you know, appears on uh, tab because that artist appears on their track, right? So what they'll do is like, hey, um, I'm, you know, Chuck and my track features Taylor Swift. Now um, that uh, release would be featured in Taylor Swift's appears on tab. So I think what Spotify is trying to do is to remove the appears on tab on mobile and really focus on what is your main output. But this really um, just kind of downgrades us artists who have done a lot of featured work. And I kind of get what Spotify is doing here, but they need to be more transparent about it and bring back the appears on tab. And I guess a lot of this could be solved by distributors really checking to make sure there's no fraud and that artists aren't like featuring other bigger artists on their music when they, they're really not on those tracks. So I hope I made sense of this. Drop me any comments in the, uh, here or direct message me. But again, we really like to see Spotify bring back um, the, the appears on tab on mobile. We'd like Spotify to also organize it chronologically so it's like a real discography of our featured appearances, okay? I hope that happens and I hope this makes sense of why maybe Spotify is getting rid of the appears on tab on uh, the mobile device that they've kept it on desktop. Uh, they've just made it not in chron chronological. All right, thanks for watching and uh, I look forward to bringing you more of Don't Split the Streams blog series very soon.